Sup Taters, Ken Vandal here. You may remember me from movies like Justice League, where I played the stunt double for Wonder Woman. Sup Taters? What's up, Taters? Ken Vandal here. Today is going to be very exciting. I'm going to be doing something today I've been wanting to do for a while. Let me show you. Check this out. Look at there, Tater. Look at there. Today, I'm going to be pimping out not one, but two of my Scout LTs. Now, this is not going to be another Scout LT review video per se, but I do want to take time to talk about it a little bit just in case there's somebody out there who's never seen one, held one, and knows nothing about it. So for the benefit of the new shooter, here it is. This is the Scout LT, one of my favorite slingshots of all time, and it's for a good reason. Um, real quickly, this particular frame here comes in a variety of colors. In fact, there are 20 five different color combinations between the colors of the frame and the scales that you can play around with. It is the most customizable uh, uh, production frame on the market. I mean, this is where custom meets production. And if that's not enough, it comes with its own... <laughs> it comes with its own flip clips. But if you don't want to run clips, you don't have to. You can take it, strip it all the way down, and look at that. Wow. You can run it old school, wrap and tuck. You can shoot it over the top, through the forks. I mean, you can even take the scales off, check that out, and you can shoot it like that. I mean, this is the most versatile um, slingshot on the market today. Best bang for buck. And I would tell any new shooter especially, pick you up one of these and you'll thank me later. But like I said today, I'm going to be adding some accessories to both these frames. In particular, this one right here. And one of the accessories I'm going to add is going to be this, do you see it? This weight right here. This weight goes right into the handle, and it's just a handle weight. And with this comes the question, is it beneficial to add this weight? Because when you purchase this frame, it doesn't come with this. You have to purchase it separately. So the question is, is this weight beneficial to the Scout LT? So today, I want to discuss a principle of physics that not only answers that question, but also applies to all slingshots. And I think it'll help. Let's do it. Now, I'm sure at some time you've heard that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's Newton's third law of motion. Um, we learned it in school. The best way to show how that really works is with a handgun. If you take a handgun, when you pull the trigger and the bullet flies out, that's the action and what comes back is the reaction. And in the gun world, we call that recoil. Now in the gun world, there's been several attempts to reduce recoil because guns that have less recoil tend to be shot with more accuracy. Now here's where the figs... <laughs> Now here's where the physics kick in. If you were to take two handguns, one lighter and one heavier, and all the other variables were exactly the same, and you fired them both, the lighter handgun is gonna have more kick and recoil than that of the heavier. The reason for this is because the heavier gun has more mass, and more mass results in less acceleration and movement in the handgun. So the principle is this, a heavier handgun will generally have less felt recoil. Now, although the amount of recoil between a handgun and a slingshot frame is not the same, the principle still applies. When you take a slingshot and you pull back and then you release, that's your action, and then what follows is the reaction. And if you were to take two frames, let's say like this, one being lighter and one being heavier, and all the other variables are the same, same band set, same pouch, same load, same everything, the lighter is going to have more movement and less stability after the shot than that of the heavier. It's just basic physics. So with that said, it's correct to assume that heavier frames will generally produce less recoil. So now going back to the counterweight. Is this counterweight beneficial to this frame? According to physics, absolutely. Any added weight to a frame will enhance its stability on the range. And that's a fact, Jack. Come on back over here. 
All right, Taters, I hope you learned something. And if there is another takeaway today, remember physics are your friend, especially when it comes to shooting slingshots. And if you'd like to get a hold of one of these slingshots, the Scout LT, I've made it easy for you. Just go down in the description below. I've put my own personal link. It will cost you nothing extra. And by using that link to purchase this slingshot, you will bless the channel. Not only am I putting that link, I'm going to put the link to this um, handle weight. If you don't have one and you have a Scout LT, I'm telling you, this will benefit your shooting experience. It will give you more stability on the range. So with that said, that's going to wrap it up. So until we meet again, be kind to each other. Get out there and bust some cans. We'll see you next time. Done. Later, Tater.